Hello and welcome to Bay of Funny Fortunes. My name is Natalie. I'm an empath intuitive card reader and a visionary as well. I'm here at the moment to do the um, the last couple of weeks of May for the sign of Leo the Lion. Hear me roar. Right? Okay. Let's get right into your shuffle here. And we're going to see what the, the last couple of weeks of May are going to hold for you. This is for Leo Sun, Rising, and Moon. I'm burning my candle tonight from intuitivecandles.com as well. My intuitive candle, beautiful, another another rose, magnificent rose, stunning. Those of you new to um, and never heard of the candles, it's um, go to intuitivecandles.com. Decide to place an order. There's a uh, there's a special going on right now. Use the promotional code B O F F one zero. It's for Bay of Fundy Fortunes and then the number ten. Um, and you'll get 10% off your order. They are 100% soy-based candles that have a 40-hour clean burn. And any scent that you can think of, if they don't have it, they'll create it for you. They customize. Um, and when the wax melts down, you're left with beautiful uh, gifts, reveals. I'm actually, right now, just the tinfoil just comes through on this one. I'll be doing a reveal before the night's out here. Um, and you get beautiful gems and stones, crystals. And things like that, like my pendant that you've seen in the in the opening there with the smudge. That's my blue aventurine, and there's beautiful cage pendants as well. They're fantastic. Uh, this is one of my favorites. I love the clear quartz. Reminds me of a diamond. Yeah. Okay. So this is for Leo the lion. Go to intuitivecandles.com. Is the website. This is a general reading, which may or may not resonate with you. I'm going to cut the deck here. Um, may not cut resonate with some of you at all. Don't get mad at me if it doesn't. Just find another reader and find one that their reading resonates with you. You can relate to it. Okay. Charles, wakey, 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 wakey. This is a public general free reading um, for the sign of Leo the Lion for the week of May 18th through to the um, 31st of May. As this deck stands are the top five cards, the cards that are meant for this spread. A little more, but push. There we go. It's a little faster. It's a little, there we go. All right, you may stop. Thank you. All right. Okay, so here we go, Leo. I tell ya, the best reading by far, and it even had two kind of not so nice cards, and it was for cancer. I'm still blown away. I can't believe it. I, boy, oh boy, I hope it resonates with me. I'll tell you that, Leo. Um, okay, so for you guys, your overall energy. Oh, come on. The readings are kind of heavy. The May's been one heck of a month, I got to tell ya. It's been all over the board and not in the best of ways. There have been some endings. Um... New beginnings will follow, um, but there's been some endings, some shocking ones. But anyway, uh, nine of wands, and you've got defense here for your overall energy for the rest of the month. I'm sorry. Oh, but isn't this wonderful? Ace of wands and growth. Guess where it fell? In your finances and wealth. Your heart's your home, love, and your intimate love, anything like that. We've got the queen of pentacles. She's all about kindness. That's a lot of softness and love in your world, if nothing else, Leo. And your challenges, that's no flippant challenge, unless you're denying yourself for some reason, cutting your nose off to spite your face. You got the wish card, for heaven's sakes, the nine of cups. They always take on new meanings. In your message from spirit card number five, you got justice and balance. 
And it's not a half bad card to end your, your month with. I'll tell you that. Okay. I need fortification, guys. I'm on my marathon of readings. T's got cold already. First card, nine of ones on the defense, your overall energy before this month. Um, with this card, it shows you in some capacity fully exerting yourself emotionally, mentally, and physically. It is wearing you down in a physical sense. You're feeling highly on, you're like on guard, on alert. It's like you're on alert. You're waiting for something to come to you that's not going to be to your liking and you're on alert. It's like, you know, I know it's coming. I know it's coming. And this could have to do with um, a job, something to do with property that you own, um, or even defending your own actions as well. Feeling a need to stand by your actions for some of you for something that that happened in your past. Um, and the message for you is it's time to let go. But first you have to find out why you held on because you have to have resolution with whatever this is that's in your past. And you've got to ask yourself, why have I held on to this for so long? Resolve that and then let it go. All right, because it's time for you to move on. It's become more of a habit. You're probably going to find that it has been a fear, a superstition, um, whatever it may have been for you. Um, you're just... The advice of this card, remember this is the general last two weeks of general um, um, energy. Protect what is yours, but free up your thinking at the same time and make some mental space for your future. It's time to start thinking again of tomorrow. That's a message coming through. It's time for you to start thinking about tomorrow. The keywords are determination, sacrifice, challenges, hard work, protection, rigidity, and fear. All right. I just heard, I hear this this a lot. And it's flying by the seat of your pants. You're winging it for the last couple of weeks. In your finances and wealth, we got the Ace of Wands. We got growth in your financial field. For some of you, this is really good news. You've been really, really, really down. You've been scraping the bottom of the barrel for a while just to, just to keep your head above water, to keep yourself with a roof over your head, barely paying power bills and trying to feed yourself and hold down a job and, and it's just been drudgery for a long time. That's about to change for some of you. We're looking at you stumbling through an opportunity here is what I'm hearing for somebody. You're stumbling onto a better job and a good job and a job you know you'll do well and you instantly feel it with your intuition. That's my job. It's got my name written all over it and it's going to change my life for the better and you go after it and you, you get it. You just knew from the second you knew about it, you were, you became aware of it. That was it. There's a real good feeling. I'm feeling the heat off the card right there for somebody. Um, this is a creative ace. So there's lots of color. Um, and um, there's just lots of color and depth the way art is um, in your life for the last two weeks, despite anything else that's going to happen. It's not a bad reading. And you're probably the best one I've read so far. For these last two weeks of May, this this is a creative base, and it, it, what it encompasses things like projects that you may have on the go, plans that you're making, work, ideas, travel plans, even all those things are going to just take a sudden boost. They're going to get a sunny, a sudden energy boost. They're going to come to life for you. Um, communications are going to very well. Oh, I'm get I'm talking faster. I'm thinking faster than I can talk. Communications will go well. So you're encouraged to share any visions, any ideas or plans or hopes or dreams with somebody else. You may be able to convince them to get on your side with it, to understand it, to get on board even, maybe take part in it with you. If you've been wondering if your plans that you do have in place for some of you, Leo, your hopes, your dreams, your plans, the answer is yes with this card. This is almost as good as your wish card. Um, Your intuition is going to grow during the, the last two weeks here. So are your spiritual beliefs. There's going to be a new beginning for somebody. Um, there are going to be some journeys. Some are going to be on adventures. Some are going to experience fertility. 
in different ways of the word, different meanings of the word fertility, growth. It doesn't mean pregnancy. It means growth, birth, the beginning. Um, keyword, beginnings, intuition, adventure, ideas, creativity, success, and fertility. That's a beautiful card. Your, your finances for whoever that means. Other people, you may gain into the financial field as well. You may gain some momentum there, but it'll come from a different source of some kind. This is a member. It's a general reading. All right. It's not going to resonate or mean anything to everybody. Queen of Pentacles in your hearth, your hearth, your, hearth, your love, your intimacy, your friends, your family, and a very affectionate and a very generous, generous queen is she, the Queen of Pentacles, which is all about making money, creating money, and being creative. As I said, through the month, your co-op is going to be very colorful. There's going to be a lot of depth to things, which means you're going to have some meaningful moments through the last couple of weeks. This is a general woman, a, ge a general, a generous woman. <sighs> Just a minute. This is a very generous woman with a very kind, very giving nature. She's very, very wise. She is somebody or the energy of her. And this doesn't necessarily have to be a female. This can be without gender on it, male or female. It means something different. But this is somebody that we either already know or somebody that we really need. We don't even know we need it yet. We're not aware of it, but we need somebody just like her in our life, our go-to person when it comes to the serious things about life. Um, she's the wise helper we all want in our world. Um, she's a, you, may, you may identify with this yourself and say, that sounds more like me than anybody, then so be it, right? It's tarot. Anything is possible in tarot. Um, even if you're male, you can say, well, that sounds more like me. It's perfectly acceptable. She's a lover of nature, a lover of her home. It's very important to her. And her family is always the first and foremost in her life. She's extremely practical. So no pretenses with her at all. And she's very, very down to earth. She, she can fit into any class of life if you want to put us in classes. She seems to slide in quite comfortably. People of all, all classes accept her. Um, if you're identifying with this card as the U card, it's showing you now that you need to focus on your key tasks. And when it comes to your money, spend it wisely. Don't go foolish with it. Spend it wisely. Um, for somebody else, this could be a woman at your job, at your work, and you have full support of her. And this backs up any plans you may have had. If you go to her, you're, you're going to get the yes that you need to hear. The advice is be hands-on and get involved and give practical help as well. Don't wait for help just to come to you, but put it out there. You're capable of helping somebody. And it's and it's good that you can do that. It helps to build your confidence. Um, share your knowledge with those that need it the most. Don't feel like you, you're you worthless. And you have nothing to give. You've got a lot to give. Allow that confidence to come through. Um, that'd be the worst nightmare for, for Leo. Just the worst. and Because they're all about being loud and proud and the roar and the, and the pride and they're about all that um that would be the worst nightmare for a leo to feel like they're not good enough your keywords are generosity and fertility once again for you money comfort love nature children and animals all within your home life all feeling very good everything as it should be is what i'm hearing for you leo as far as your immediate home life goes Everything is very, very good in your world right now. So you, you, you can put up thanks for that. Let your heart feel full of for that. We're looking at challenges and what the heck is going on here? Nine of Cups. It's the wish card. All right. Doesn't always mean the same thing all the run. Yes, it does. It does bring benefits of love. I always see this card in a good light. I, I, I see other readers interpret it differently sometimes. And it's not always really positive and that's fine. Um, but for me, for some reason, I and I look for it. I go, well, find something that's a little, got some edge to it in this card, Natalie. Try to reach for something that's got some, something you can sink your teeth into. And there's really, this is a card of pinch me and tell me I'm not dreaming. This is a card of 
meeting somebody eye to eye for the very first time and knowing that you've known each other before and you're both on the same page. You clear this later, but the minute you lay eyes, you know this is it. They're the one, and you've lived lives before, and that's what's brought you together. This is a card about daring to dream for the impossible dream. I'm feeling very emotional with this card. This is not my reading, so it's not emotionally that way. But it's it's I'm seeing the beauty behind this card right now. And for some reason, Leo, you're denying yourself. Some of you may be denying yourself of such wonder and such beauty. Um, regrets from something you may have done in the past are blocking you from accepting this is here. That's what I'm hearing for you. Spirit wants you to know. Your wishes are valued just the way you're valued. It is time to allow your wishes to take fruition and grow. And, and you've got to plant the seed so that it can grow in the first place. And yeah, you may have to get your hands a little dirty, covering it with earth and watering it, but it's for you. You can have the same dreams like everybody else. You can achieve the things you want to achieve. I'm hearing that for some of you out there right now, Leo. Advice of this card, you're perfectly placed right now to make your dreams come true, so go ahead. Put your wish out to the universe. Keywords are happiness and support, love, entertainment, harmony at home, relationships. <sighs> A beautiful word. When used in the right context, and that's abundance for you. Any area I'm hearing for you that you want to have abundance in in your life, Put your focus there and your energy will follow and help to bring it through even quicker for you and stronger. Your last card in this reading, we're looking at justice and balance. What a great card to finish any reading with. It's just fantastic. It's a beautiful card for you to have, Leo. Um, any of you that are waiting on somebody else to make a, um, a decision about you, a judgment about you that you're going to know about, you're going to hear that they've come to a a decision. There's something like that going on right now that some of you are sitting back and waiting to hear on. Um, here you can breathe a bit of a sigh of relief until you get the actual literal verdict, but it's going to go in your favor. Okay, so that's a really good thing. There could be somebody at work that's going through some kind of a legal claim through work. You may have been hurt on the job, that kind of a thing. So you're putting in for a legal claim in that way. Um, some of you family matters. So the last two weeks of the month are going to come to the forefront. There's something going on within the family. Um, this could affect a relationship as well. Expect to find the truth of a situation. Something that has maybe upset some of you that have been that's been eating at you and bothering you for a while. You got to come to a to a dull point where you say, "Okay, okay, I'm seeing the truth of what's really going on here, and I know what to do." Whatever your choice. Um, know that there's going to be healing here and closure either way it goes. All right. Um, you're going to be weighing your options as well during the last two weeks to make some decisions on your own about yourself, about your life. Um, there's something you're going to be feeling vindicated about something you just knew your gut was telling you just knew and you're feeling, and, and it's going, you're going to be vindicated. And I'm not saying that's a sweet victory. I don't know, you may be saying maybe, I wish I'd been wrong. Why couldn't have I just been wrong? It'd be easier to be wrong than to be proven right in this case because it hurts to be proven right. There will be healing and there will be closure before you leave, not to worry, not to worry at all. Um, your strength is going to come from deep within. Also know that you're not walking alone here. Your angels and your guides are with you and they are in support of you on your life's path. The advice of this card, protect, um, take a practical approach. I'm sorry with uh, any decision that you need to be, any decisions me being need to be made during the last two weeks of the month, remain grounded and realistic about them. Remain realistic about any decisions. Then move it out, roll it out. Um, 
your keywords or decisions, calm, staying calm, integrity, truth, legal issues maybe for some, support and vindication. And that, my dear Leo, was your reading. I hope you enjoyed it very much. I hope you got something from that. Uh, for everybody else, if you don't know, please join us on Facebook in a closed private group full of like-minded individuals like me and just like you. Also, if you're looking for me um, and you want to, um, no, you're not. But if you're looking for me and if I'm not here in Bay of Fundy Fortunes, <laughs> Then I am uh, probably walking down below along the water's edge of my cove that holds the highest tides on the whole planet. So I sit on the beach and I'm there more and more as the weather's getting warmer with my little dog. And I sit in the soft sand on the beach because there is soft sand. It looks pretty rocky, but we walk up at the other end. It's very, very nice. And watch the tide coming in, knowing it's the highest tide on the whole planet that's getting closer and closer to my feet as I'm sitting in the sand. It's absolutely amazing. I just want to share that with you. It's great. Um, so no matter where you find me, um, you'll always catch me waiting, watching the Bay of Fun Day for the next high tide. Keep the peace in so that you can share that light and love out. And please take one split second of your day when you're out and about, smile at a stranger, make a big difference in the world if we all did that. I send you the best of wishes for the month, the last two weeks of the month. Wishing you the very best. You're strong. You hold on. You're going to make it. You're going to be okay. I don't feel anything negative or bad for anybody. I feel a happier turning um, coming towards the end of May into June. I'm feeling a bit of a better turning here. The best wishes to you and hope to see you back for the June monthlies. Bye for now.